Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're going to change the filters and the fluids on the Deputy Commander. For those of you new to the channel, the Deputy Commander is a 1984 GMC Brigadier. First thing we're going to do is get this hood opened up. Now that plug on there is one inch and let's see, yep, not too bad. I don't know when the last time it's been drained, but here we go. And while that's draining, I go change the air and fuel filters out. The motor in this truck is a Cat 3208, rated at 210 horsepower. We got a fuel filter there. We got two oil filters down below the frame. I'll show you a picture of those from the other, from another angle. Got the air filter sitting on top of the motor. It's non-turbo. And then we have a fuel water separator over on the other side. And I'll get you a picture of that as well. Again, here's another shot of the air filter. And this here is a fuel water separator. And you see it's that square glass type. You don't see these too much anymore, but they used to be uh, used to be found on quite a few pieces of equipment. And of course turning it the correct way may help out too. Yeah. Bad boy is dry. And ten twenty two thousand eight last time the filter was changed on this truck. We got the new Wix fuel filter. Number is 33528. And this one's a little larger than the other. The thread size are the same, but the canister itself hold a bit more fuel. Want a little touch of lube around the gasket here. <clears throat> All right, get that on 
on there. Three quarter turn. There's your fuel water separator. And it's a cat, I mean, it's a Wix 33369. Here's what a new clean one looks like. You can actually see inside of it. I don't know when the last time, again, this thing was changed. But it hasn't been recent. I can bet you that much. Let's see how we get this one off. Screwdriver. That just pops out. This is a big A filter, 95 370. and just clips right on there, that simple. The old one ain't too bad, the bowl, again with the sun, probably can't see it, but. You can see the fuel shaking in there in the filter element. The air filter is going to have four clips, two on this side. Pop those, pop the two on the other side. filter element, like I said, pretty simple. Once you get the four clips off the bottom, this whole housing comes up, but there's a butterfly screw at the top. Well, there's a nut on top of the butterfly screw. So, I have to take that off. This whole house gonna pop out. And I think eventually I'll get me a new hose and that piece is good, but it's not secured up there. Look like it was just glued. I figured out, but for right now, let me get the wrench, take that nut off top of there. Nothing is ever easy. Really, that butterfly that should attach to the bolt that's in there, but it's not. It has a nut on top of the butterfly, but it's not enough space to get a socket down in there or the wrench, so I gotta use an opening and unloosen it. I 
and see now I make a trip to the hardware store and get a new butterfly nut for this. Well, no. I'll take that back. The butterfly nut does screw, but then they put a nut on top of the butterfly nut to keep it tight. Can't argue with that. Take out the old one. Yeah, it looks like that's been in there about 16 years or so. And get the new one. And the new filter is a Donaldson as well. P181021. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to change the nuts out on this thing. Get one that fits. Now I see why they have the nut on top of the wing nut. Is that wing nut is stripped. And one, that screw is significantly shorter than that screw there. So it's not going all the way through where the nut will catch it. And but I could fix that. Not a problem. Can't run the truck for a couple days, but I can solve that problem. I can solve that problem. So in the meantime, put this back in there. Set that back on the intake so I don't get any debris down inside.
setback, but not a crisis. drained out and plug looks good no metal shavings so we'll stick that back in there and cinch it down back up now the oil filters on this truck are between the engine and the frame so I got to get them from the bottom they are let's see if we can yeah there's the two oil filters right there one and two now because I never know which direction I need to turn these things I'm gonna use these channel locks again and let's see if I can get to them first Let's see which one we'll go with first. And try this one. It is. It is tight up here. That's for sure. Let's see. strap move my tub out the way first so I can get to them alright let's see get on there Help me out a little bit. Yeah, we got some movement. But again, sure feels like I'm tightening it up on it. And that was the opposite direction of what I did with the fuel filter. Ah, shucks came apart but I bought the chain so my challenge is always which way do I need to turn them to get them loose Upside down ain't helping.
in there. Trying to be difficult as well. <sighs> Nothing is ever easy the first time. That's for sure. turning but like I said I think that tightening it so flip it around something yep now we doing something airline there holding that I can get what my hand from there And now that I have some space, the other one shouldn't be as bad. Let that oil drip out of there. Heck, I might be able to get that one with that. Get the new filters. So here's the two new Wix oil filters, 51, 268. Stick these on there and let's see if she fires up.
three quarter turn. <clears throat> Got those on there. Now, thanks to the previous mechanic, I know that this engine takes four and a half gallons of oil, but my Google search came up with the same information, so it's been confirmed. And that's where that cap there is where you put the oil in. So now, we're going to add the new oil. Now, Walmart has these three gallon bags with a spout on it. My first time using it, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I guess it's, it ain't bad. Now usually I'll put the date that I change the filters on each individual filter, but I didn't have my pen in my bag. But next time. And like I said, that's the first time I've seen that three gallon bag like that, but I found them at Walmart. Yeah, that bag's pretty empty. four gallons check my dipstick and now for half a gallon Yep. And I did add a little bit for the filters. Now let's see if she'll start. Check everything. Fuel, oil, 
spare, no tools. All right.